Hi, boys and girls. This is Tento here. Uh, we need to continue on our second part of our reading lesson for this week. Um, put these on to protect my eyes from the blue rays. Um, we did not put our sentences on our board work the other day, yesterday. So I'm going to show us a sentence to start with. And we're going to go ahead and read this. This is about two people and here are their names. Um, Al and and Al and say this with me. Al, Hal, that's a nickname for Harold and Al is a nickname for Alan. So Al and Hal. There's an underlined word that means it's a new sight vocabulary word. R. R. Anytime you see A-R together, it's going to have the sound of R. But since it's by itself, it has an E with it, and that's just the word R. So Al and Hal are Al's. Oh, pals. Did you hear at the end of pals? that it sounds like a little bit of a z sound. Remember we talked about that last fall. Sometimes when S is at the end of a word, it has the Z sound. So let's read that one more time. Al and Hal are pals. Very good, and I'm gonna do something with that A-R word in a minute. Let's look at our next sentence. Right below it says, Tim and can slip on the hill. Let's read it again. Tim can slip on the hill. Very good. All right, I'm going to erase this board and I'm going to see if I can write some words with A-R in them. Let's see, we'll start with the word we had and we'll go from there. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna write A-R-E as the word we had. Now, the next one I'm going to do is Art, art. So let's write A R T. And there's, you hear the art, art. Now I'm going to put an S T in front of art. And I'm going to get the word, what do you think? St. Start. And what else could we write with A-R in it? Oh, we could write the word just plain old S-T-A-R. Oh, my word. Look at that. We have R, art, start, and start. Star. I'm going to take off one letter. Watch what I come up with. Let's see if you get the same thing. And I have the word tar, like the black gooey stuff they put on the road to um, take away some of the, the cracks and seams. It's called tar. Now, I wonder if I could change that first letter to the letter you used in handwriting today. Let's see if I take the T away and put an F instead. And now I have far. So let's read them again. R, art, st, art, start. R star to R 
and far. Wow. Now you know what AR sounds like and what it looks like in a, quite a few words. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to the next part. Now for this, take a minute and get yourself some a piece of paper and a pencil because we're going to do some word building. And I want to check with you when you're done to check my board and see if you wrote the same things that I wrote. This is just going to be a couple words here. And then I'm going to have you do some spelling with me. So let's get our papers ready. You don't even need to put your name on. Mom and Dad can take a look or you can share it with me at 1130. Um, all right, here we go. Your first word is lap, lap. I sat on the, my grandbaby sat on my lap. Or a kitty cat could take lap up some milk. Or you could run a lap around a track. All a lap. So I'm going to write that down first. And this is on the first line. Now, I'm going to change that word from lap to lip. Let's get the first sound. L -i -p. Write the word lip right next to the word lap. So I'm putting the word lip. I have not I have more than one lip. You have two, don't you? All right. When you are done writing the word lip, get ready for going down a row below, a line below. And we're just going to use one line for the next two words. Let's do the first word is going to be nap. Sometimes it just feels good to take a half hour nap. A little sleep. A little sleep is called a nap. N -a -p. Say it with me. N -a -p. Nap. When you're done writing that, get ready for your next word. The next word is tan. Tan. Tan is what happens when your skin gets in the sun, mine burns, but yours might tan. It's um, a light, light brown color. Um, kind of like the wall behind me is a tannish color. And some might call it more of a khaki tan. Um, let's spell tan. T-A-N, tan, tan. And when you're done with that, guess what we're gonna do? I'm going to show you my paper, and you can see if you have the same words as what I wrote on my little whiteboard, and I just made a splotch on one of the words, so let's get that fixed. These are easy to work on, and I'm sure you did a great job on yours. Let's look and see. I have lap, L-A-P, lap. I have Lip, L-I-P, lip. Here's that nap. Sometimes this weather makes us feel like we're hibernating bears, doesn't it? So here it is, N-A-P, nap. And here is tan, T-A-N, tan. All right, I'm going to erase that. And now I would like you to keep the same piece of paper and I want you to write, um, this is a little spelling time to see if you know these words. Just put a one next to this first word. So I'm going to do this on my board. I'm just going to write a one and then I'm going to write the word. Now, listen carefully. This is going to be pretty easy, even if it has four letters in it. You can spell the first part of the word you'll surely know what the ending sound is. So the first word is hats, 
Do you remember the man with many, many hats? He called them caps. But everyone needs to put on their hats today because it's cold and wet out. Hats. Let's sound out the word hat first. Ha. A. T. And then we add the s. So, ha. A. T. S. And I'm going to write mine on my board. I hope everyone's written that. And here's what I have spelled. Ha. A. H A T S hats. You ready for word number two? Here's your next one. Tans. Tans. Everyone tans a little differently. Some burn, some tan. Um, she tans easily when she's out in the sun. Tans. Now listen to the beginning part of this word. It's four letters. Ah, tans. Everybody say the word tans and write it down. Are you ready? Here it is. T -a tans. T A N S. Very good. Here's our next one, number three. Oh, here it is. We talked about this hmm, a little bit in the fall when we were learning about deciduous trees. A maple tree has a um, special kind of sap. Here's your word sap. The sap of a maple tree makes maple syrup. Sap. Everybody say sap. S -a -p sap. All right, write that down. I'm going to write it down myself. All right. Are you ready? S -a -p. Here we go. Sap. Sap. Sap is that clear liquid that we call the blood in the in the um, veins of a tree. It's what goes, the water comes up through the trunk and the sap helps the tree to live. Um, and it's what we, they boil this to make maple syrup or maple sugar. All right, your next one is the word sip. Sip. I wonder if you've ever had a sip of fresh maple syrup, maybe a sip of cocoa instead. Sip. Say the sounds, there's only three letters. S-I-P. Sip. Write it down. Everybody have the word sip? Here we go. Here it is. S-I-P. Sip. Well done? All right. Um, here's our next word. We have seen this word a lot, so you should know it. It is the word and. And. A -d. Uh, and. I like to ice skate and go sledding when it snows. And. A -n -d. All right, and here it goes. Here we are. A -n -d. And everybody have that? Okay. Let's go on to the last one. Something we have on the gym floor. Something you might put on your floor to put shoes on or just to have on the floor for sitting on mats. If you can spell the word mat, you can spell the word mats, which is more than one mat. So m a t s. 
Let's spell the word mats. Mats. And I need to write that down myself. Dad put mats on the floor to hold our wet boots. Mats. M a t s. Mats. All right. Are we ready for it? Here we go. M a t s. Mats. All right. Boys and girls, I'm going to stop the video now, and then I'm going to start a new one for today for reading our books together, because you have a chapter book, which means it has two parts to it, which is this one called Nan's Family. And we're going to read this together, and I might want to have you bring it to your uh, the second part of our group time. Maybe each person could read a page. Only those that feel comfortable doing that. Um, but it would be kind of fun to hear how you did. Otherwise, I'll just ask questions. Okay. Thank you so much, boys and girls. That was a great blending and writing time. All right. We'll see you at reading. The rest of reading.